Today you will learn how to make a simple nozzle in NX8. Uh, first launch your Siemens NX8 software. Um, find your uh, folder, it's called Siemens NX8. Uh, then launch the program. So now start a new file. Make sure all your options are correct. We want to make a model, then model, change your name to whatever you want it to be, find the right folder, make sure it's on your H drive so that you can save it later. Press OK and it will start a new file. As soon as we start the file, we want to insert a sketch. Go to Insert and then press on Sketch in Task Environment. This will open up a menu which lets you select the plane in which to draw. The default plane will be highlighted and it's the XY plane. If you want to draw in that plane, press OK. Now we're sketching in the XY plane and we're in the sketching environment. Um, select the line tool and start defining your polygon. Uh, sometimes this pops up. This, this is just a menu which shows you whenever there are two different points at the same place. Just press enter whenever that pops up and it usually works. Start, start drawing the line press once at the beginning of each line and then press once at the end. When you're drawing lines, notice how there uh, appear to be a uh, th this right here and that that just shows you that the line is uh, either parallel or perpendicular. Um, uh, so then def fully define your polygon, press enter again here um, so like this as you're drawing you can see that uh, all the dimensions are appearing that's what we want so now we have fully defined the polygon uh, press escape to exit the line tool and then finish sketch uh, now we want to rotate the polygon that we have created um, go to extrude and then click on the little scroll down menu next to extrude and select revolve. Um, now this menu lets you select all the different options but basically the first one uh, asks you to select a curve, press on the polygon, then specify a vector. You can use the XY plane, uh, specify a point. Uh, this, is, this one is a little tricky. Um, so press on the point dialog and this makes it a little bit easier. Go to this point that I'm showing you right now on the screen, uh, press OK. You can do an enter here, then exit this menu. And now you can press OK and your shape will be revolved. Uh, then we have to put in a hole. Press on the hole option. Uh, select the top of the face that you want to put the hole in. Um, you can put it in the back too. It, it really doesn't matter where. Um, so you've already specified a point. Uh, then se select the shape, which we want simple. Uh, dip limit is through body. And press apply. And you have your hole. Um, now suppose you are rotating the, you want to rotate the figure. Uh, click on the middle mouse button and hold it and that will rotate the figure. Or you can uh, use the rotate tool 
does the same thing except with the left mouse button. Uh, suppose you've rotated to a place where you don't want to be. Uh, just press on fit and then you you get zoomed to a you get zoomed to a manageable size and then press trimetric which is the home button and then it shows you your default view um, uh, so now we want now we want to insert some threads uh, go to insert uh, then design feature thread select the face on which you're gonna put the thread on um, press on detailed or if you know your thread is gonna be way too large press on symbolic but we're gonna use details in this example uh, change your options to whatever you want them to be uh, it sets the length as the maximum length which you can have it so make it something smaller let's say 10 press apply and you can see the thread appear right here um, so now we want to make this nice and presentable so go to the view tab go to visualization through shading editor um, it already redraws it with much higher graphics however this computer is a little slow so it this is just an error but you can see the uh, reflection in the ground um, I'll to zoom in and out scroll the middle mouse button now let's let's play with it a little bit let's change it let's change the whole figure to blue then let's change a couple of faces to yellow um, you can change reflection settings um, what the floor look like the background um, it's very customizable you can make it look very nice uh, press apply um, and that's it so now we're going to want to create a draft go to new um, go to the drawing tab select the proper size change the name, the locations, and it's going to be creating a drawing of the previous part name, which you can select from here, if for some reason it's not selected already. Press OK. And you are in the drafting file. Now in the beginning it shows you this populate title block. Um, you can edit it now. If you don't edit it now, you're not going to be edited later. So let's just let's just show you how this works. Type in user, press on the A next to it, and so on. And these will change these values. So I'm I'm going to close this. Go to the arrow next to view creation and select base view. Um, now it will show you one of the views. You, you can put it there without changing anything, but I recommend changing the scale so it fits better on your page. Um, and um, reorient the, the view so that it looks just like in the example given on Husky CT. Um, find it so it's right. This is what we want play around with this tool till you get it right um, I'm going to press OK this tool is called the Orient View Tool um, so now I can put it down just like this um, as I'm moving my mouse around the screen I can get the top view another side view a isometric now I can close this menu and I can move them around it works pretty good um, now let's say we want to dimension the whole figure you're going to have to go through every edge and do it by hand but use the infer dimension tool and it works very easy 
just click on two edges, then dimension, click on this bottom edge here, dimension, radius, and diameter, and so on. Um, and that's all you need to be successful in this project. Uh, just be sure to save your work um, in the right locations so that you can find it later. And uh, have a nice day.